you got to do the ads. Yeah. And it, what about no, the uh, brought to you empowered by? Yeah, that's what that's you're doing right now. Doing. Perfect. That's yeah. it right now. The right camera. now? Yeah. Awesome. Let's see if he... We're not going to tell you yeah. what... No, I got see, you. Let's see how big of a fan he is. First T, no has. All right. If you don't what? get it right, you're not on the <laughs> <laughs> That's first try, no hesitation. Oh. Do is you that know French? That yeah. I, I knew you would know it. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Welcome out, guys. Uh, this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool and Golden Press Studio. We'll see you there. <laughs> oh, shameless plug. You, you, Get him out of here, dude. I'm sick of that. You're supposed to say, watch this or listen. So. Oh, watch this or listen. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you meant them. Okay. It's the end of 2023, but in 2024, I want to give some of y'all free swag for a whole year. That's right. For the past 365 days, we here, uh, we here at Sunday Cool have been serving you. And we're making sure that all your apparel needs are being met. And we couldn't be more grateful for y'all. And to thank you, I want to give you free Sunday Cool swag for a whole year. That would be awesome. Still talking to them. Got it. I mean, how nice would it be to get a box of super soft surprises delivered to you every month for free for a year just for you. Come on. So all you got to do is go to sundaycool.com forward slash Christmas and fill out the form and you're entered to win. And because I'm such a generous person, we won't just be picking one person. <laughs> no, sorry. We're going to be picking up to five people, five lucky people to win Sunday Cool swag for a whole year. Just for them, just for them, they, them, their personal swag. Maybe even more. Maybe I might choose a million. I don't know. So uh, go hit the link in the bio and let's finish the year strong. Right, Andy? Well, now I'm talking to you. What? What did you say? I missed it. No, do it again. I'll be ready. No, the moment's gone. SundayCool.com forward slash Christmas. Go ahead and earn a win now so you can get, get the whole chance for a year and free Sunday Cool swag and it's just for you. Hey, Merry Christmas from all of us here at Sunday Cool. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. You see that <laughs> girl who had like a sty right here on her eyelid? And it kept getting worse and bigger and bigger. And it got to the point where, like, I have to go to urgent care. It's massive. Had no idea what's going on. Couple days before, oh. she had a bug fly into her eye. And she got it out. But while it was in her eye, it laid eggs, it laid eggs dropped the larva. And no joke, it opened up. And <laughs> all this larva was ah! sitting on her eyelid. Oh <laughs> and she had to remove it. And, everything. and she was fine. But like just to not know what it was for a couple of days, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that bug flew into my eye a couple of days ago." <laughs> dude, wow, and dude, I would. Did you see that video of that so bird bad. flying into that chick's eye? Yes, you showed. Did it you to see me. that? I did not see that. Dude, there, this a chick, se- she's like terrified it's like of birds. A seagull or something, right? I don't know. Some what type it was. of bird. It flew oh. down and like swooped across her face, and she's like, ah, and it scared her, and oh. her eye got like infected. Wait, maybe and I- then she went back to the video and did a freeze frame. The, yes, the bird's beak was under her eyelid yes oh, opened, i did see that and then the like the frame bottom, by frame yeah, yeah. Oh, dude dude <laughs> that's rough no. i would cry you just got beat it's <laughs> on some <laughs> channel <laughs> it's a <laughs> japanese game show, <laughs> oh or prank show. those are all the <laughs> robots <a> beat. <laughs> they just manufactured all these birds into a factory oh. and they're just like we're gonna send them to america and just create our own show um i almost brought my i, I have a birds aren't real shirt that, uh, oh, really? That's a great movement. Yeah, Dude. I really. I in it. That kid is. Night. Have you seen him on interviews? Yeah, no, it, it, he's it's, it's so amazing. funny. He's a genius. Dude. I, so they, funny. Instagram directly uh, targeted me with that ad. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> I was like, well, I have to give in. I have to surmise to what you're doing, man. It's so good. Hey guys, it's Corey. Corey's here. Corey. Oh, welcome. Another Corey. Corey, how do you say your last name? It's uh, Corey. Rossmeyer? Romizer. Romizer. But that's so cool. My, my full name, my secret name, is Cornelius. Whoa. That's my, my government name, my birth name. That's a your, dope name. Your Christian name. Yeah, my Christian. Christian. Yeah. Cornelius Romeister. Cornwall. Right? Yeah, r- close enough. What, how do you say <laughs> Romizer, you Romizer. Yeah, like what is Rome, it? 
And then uh, there's this beverage out there. It's Budweiser. Mm. But then instead of without that Bud version of it. We're saved. We've never heard that. Yeah. Um. I've just seen pictures. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Did you ever Rome Rosamize, 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 like that woman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all I heard whenever I heard it. Romanticizer. Oh. Romanticizer. Oh. That's, that's nice. That's okay. Um, really. When's your birthday? January 30th, 1993. Oh. <laughs> almost a romantic. <gasps> February is the romantic. You see, that's why he was almost there. Yeah. Oh. But, but my sister mm. is February 15th. Ayo. Which is a day. Wow. It was that's supposed when we were to be. That's our anniversary. Yeah. yeah. We it's guys all planned connected. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, small world. <laughs> At the end of the day, aren't we all a little connected? No. No, we're all separate. We're going to die alone. <clears throat> uh, hey, can you turn me Just up kidding. a little? Yeah, my, it's like... Yo, crank that! <laughs> it's our uh, weekly little thing. I just that's, can't that's like hear because the, there's a bug in my ear. Like the yeah, no, I, I can push song. her. Yeah. You only got a turn bug me up. in my ear. Turn me up in the mic. Yo. Oh, that's better. Yeah! Yeah! Now I'm not alone with my own thoughts. <laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> yes. I get home, I turn on like all the TVs, <laughs> turn on my phone, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm Peace. so tempted the as this podcast goes <laughs> to just start to dip your ears. Finally, the just voices have ensue ceased. panic. <laughs> Seriously. What did you say? I said, finally, the voices have ceased. <laughs> I can rest. So we were going to do a bit on how we need to name him a different Corey, but we he's Cornelius. Yeah, yeah he'll yeah, be yeah, Cornelius. Yeah, it's Cornelius. There's only a few sect of people that know me by that. I went to college. Uh, for one semester, and I really just skateboarded most of the time, and uh, and also hated it. But I, there was the first time in my life I didn't correct anyone. Like when they do the roll call, they're like Cornelius, and I just like let it be. And so there's like, a very small group of people that know me as that and exclusively. Which That's is a fun. pretty cool well, name, well, though. Yeah. yeah, it is, it is very, cool. Dude, I would have 100% called you Corn Dog all throughout my <laughs> school. So another uh, a perfect segue. Uh, back in the day, there was a Super Bowl promo for Papa John's, old Poppy J. Mm. And uh, it, it was whichever coin flip, uh, if it's heads, then uh, you get a free pizza. If, it's ta- if you chose tails, free pizza. So I was like, I'm a freaking genius. Uh, I made two emails and, uh, and two accounts and chose heads and tails, so I guaranteed a free pizza. So first one, uh, whichever one that lost, happened to be my real name. And the one that won happened to be, I guess, the one connected to my main email that I use for everything. Uh, which I use the uh, fake name as Corn Dog, <laughs> and so <laughs> whenever I show up to Papa John's and like order through the app or something, they're like, "Corn, corn Dog." <laughs> I'm like, "Yep, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Who else do you think it would be? So that's uh, awesome. Do you guys want a song? That's amazing. Oh, do you want a song? Yeah, we can just probably just come up. Oh, you got that? That'd uh, be good. The small guitar. <laughs> Actually, Andrew's oh. just really huge. That's oh. a normal size guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's optical illusion. Dang. Yeah. I'll just go with something. All right, here we go. Ninjas. I was just here. I'll do it again. I messed up. Let's listen to it for a little bit. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like so off. Hold on. Do it again. I got it. He's got a little song in him. All right, here we go. Oh. Let it out. Here we go. Let it out. (laughs) (laughs) Ninjas are ninjas are butterflies. Episode 67. I got a little story. When I went to 7-Eleven I got a Slurpee, I filled it up, up Then I slurped it all up, up I got a brain freeze And then my nose started to bleed I said, oh no, what's going on? I went to the hospital, then sat down the Doctor called me back he Said I got some bad news Brain the t- the the the, the, the cat scans. I can't do it. Man. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it, it. Says, bad man. It looks like it's really bad news. So we're gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Obviously, you didn't prepare. No, no. Okay. I apologize, everyone. No, we're having. I I did it so good this morning of like 
improvising this whole song. It was. It was great. <laughs> and then my waking up at 4.30 is like hitting me really hard right now. So no, I you're, you're, you're fine. That we, were, we had the whole bit was that we were just trying to rhyme and we're doing a little Jason Mraz thing and it yeah. went up when you just go to 7-Eleven, you yeah, get a Slurpee. Yeah, I went to 7-Eleven, <laughs> get a Slurpee, get a brain freeze, go to the hospital. They do tests. Turns out I have a brain tumor. <laughs> It's not and just then, a brain freeze. And then um, all this stuff happens, and then I slowly start not making sense. And then I wake up, and it was all a dream because I slipped in my Slurpee. Wow, this is <laughs> Yeah. I did that all this morning. It was, wow. a, it was a musical genius. That's but you guys will never hear the full song. <laughs> we'll give it another round in the second, the half episode. Yeah. <laughs> pump, pump. Uh, like Typo. 30, 31. Okay, 31. We're yeah. good. We'll move it up. We're good. Um, have one of these. Hey, good news. They have tall boys and monsters now. Just a just a little PSA. Poison, poison. Poison, poison. Yeah. Yum, that, yum. Those are really bad for you. Prove it. Those are super bad. <laughs> super, super. Um, but I need everyone to be quiet. I really need everyone to be quiet right now. Okay, we'll be quiet. Cornelius, zip it. <sighs> Corn dog, we love you. Hey. Enough. I'm just trying. I'm I'm, I'm No, you're you're, I'm not helping. Helping. you're not you're not helping, you're talking. <laughs> We have a question that was sent in by a viewer. Today's question sent in by a viewer. Was freedom a mistake? Um, Whoa. Was freedom a mistake? Is there any follow-up to that? Is there any not that context? I'm, not that I'm seeing. <laughs> can, can you look? Can you scroll a little bit? Look a little closer. Okay, no. no. Okay. All right. Um, I would say... In a way, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. I think freedom was a mistake. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm going to go with it. Today. Andrew? Yeah, I could see how it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Corey? Definitely. Yeah. Lily? No. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Freedom is a gift. Well, what I was referring to was when the Black Plague broke free in Western Eurasia and North Africa in 1346, killing upwards of 200 million people, peaking in Europe, finally ending around 1351. That so you're okay with the Black Plague breaking free? You think the Black Plague was a gift? Lily, <laughs> the thousands of the people. Millions. Millions of <laughs> people. Millions of people died. <laughs> How and that's a gift to you? Come How on, you Lily. Listen. Oh, oh Lily. my gosh. Welcome to the show. Oh my God. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most has an empty mind. You learn martial arts. Fuck ninjas are dead. That's that a stretch. But we did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Armstrong because that was a stretch. <laughs> yeah. That's hey, a, I'm getting what is 80s, that? That's an 80s joke. It's an 80s toy joke. Your dad know. would get it. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he would eat that. He would eat that joke right up. <laughs> um, Are you guys getting feedback, by the way? No. no. It sounds like someone I, I, wearing Swiffer pants going like. I accept all feedback. How am I doing today? Good. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that feedback. Hey, welcome, Corey. Hey. Corey Cornelius. Hey. Yes. Guys, Cornelius. Yeah. Budweiser. He's the one that designed this. He's the brainchild. There of. you go. He did our pandas are spy shirts, and he has. A, we have another shirt that he did coming out this month. Ooh, yeah. and it's one of my favorites. Ooh. I've heard that through the grapevine. Wednesday. Yeah, tell us a little bit. Uh, who are you? Hey, who the uh, heck are you, dude? I'm 28. just. Uh, my name's Corey. Uh, I'm, I'm from Indiana. Mm. Southern Indiana. Pawnee. Uh, that's actually not a real place, unfortunately. Oh, really? Don't tell me. Yeah. It's, Don't. I'm sorry. I they, didn't know but that. I didn't uh, know there, that was a fictional an, place. There's yeah. an episode where they fictionally go to a real place, which they actually don't go there in the episode, but they go to Bloomington, which I live like 20 minutes from. Okay, cool. Uh, April goes there to go to veterinarian school or whatever. But yeah, and um, and uh, Jerry always takes a vacation to Muncie. Yeah, and <laughs> which is that that is a very funny joke. Is <laughs> it, like Muncie is just like. Like, why would you go to Muncie? Like, it's not a bad place, but yeah. it's not like a special place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, not, you're not bragging about going yeah. there for vacation. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. But yeah, so uh, I'm a professional picture drawler uh, where I draw pictures uh, for my job. 
And uh, so fun. <laughs> kids are like, I can do that for a living. You for really real, can. Right? Yeah. That, I mean, I really don't know what else to call. It. Like, I mean, I you could say a graphic designer, but I draw pictures. I sit yeah. down. I draw a picture of something. I send it to someone. They say I like it or don't like it, and then I fix it if they don't like it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, now nowadays I draw pictures as well on people's human flesh. Yes, permanently. Um, yeah, forever. And I, sometimes on my kids, but not permanently. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, so not yet. You guys know this already, but we're doing a live video, which this will be last It'll week. It'll be last Thursday. I mean, last Friday when they're watching this. Yeah. yeah. He's giving us tattoos. Yes. Yeah. So Today. This, this Today. Part, this is the last That's time the, you're ever going to see this. You're just flexing? Wow. Do you have a giant forearm, dude? I'm not flexing. What are you talking about? Your forearms are huge. <laughs> um, so this is the last time this is going to be bare. And you're doing it on your legs? Yep. Yep. Which I know you told me not to shave, but... Like little my, roses. My, um, you couldn't help it? Yeah, I really wanted to... <laughs> he shaves every no, day. My, so my so legs are like... Really hairy. Really hairy. So I just buzzed them. Okay. <laughs> Josh, this morning he says... I love that you left the knee. (laughs) 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 Yeah, it looks like you're wearing like a a sock of nudity. I didn't like. I didn't like shave them. Shave them. A sock of nudity. I love that. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's poetic. That sounds like a band. Josh this morning goes, "Look at my leg. Look at my leg." (laughs) And I'm like, "I don't know what I'm looking at. Are they bruised or something?" And he was like, "I shaved them." I said, "You shaved them." (laughs) I forgot that he was getting tattooed. I'm like, "Yeah, a tattoo." She's like, "Tattoo? (laughs) That's an A?" I said, "Yeah." What I've mentioned thinking? this so many times. <laughs> what were you thinking? Anyways, that's awesome. I, think I feel pretty. Say, I think yeah. you say things. <laughs> Honestly, I feel pretty, guys. <laughs> I think you honest? say things in your head, and you think you've communicated them. He, he mm. definitely told me. He's been showing me the yeah. artwork and stuff, too, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like that's so cool. I can't Lily, wait for you to get that one to day. I have your back. <laughs> oh, thanks, Andrew. I appreciate it. <laughs> Corey, do you um, like uh, tattooing people more? Or do you like designing like um, artwork for people's like T-shirts or you know, uh, for advertising or marketing? Yeah, I, I I'd say it's pretty fifty fifty. Um, like because they're they're two very different. Like they're the style I, I primarily do is called like American traditional style tattooing, yeah. but um, but like for T-shirt design, I draw in a different way because I'm like, oh, cool, I'm gonna like have these colors this way i'm not gonna I, I tend to not use as much gradients uh just for like screen printing so people yeah. don't have to mess with half tones if they're working with printers that don't that, know how to do that that's what i was Unlike super here yeah i was super <laughs> surprised just by like your your designs like as i see your instagram but then like the designs you've done for us are amazing and but they look completely different so that was kind of yeah that was something that i was surprised by yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Cool. but tattooing's been super refreshing as well because it's it, it's kind of like just opened me up to be like, I can just draw any picture. I can, I can draw a skull and it doesn't have to have a meaning. It doesn't have to have any like, yeah. like oh, it needs to have words around it or something. It's like, no, it's just a skull with a dagger through it. It looks great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Creative freedom wasn't a mistake. Yeah. But speaking of daggers going through skulls, <gasps> I'm starting off the podcast with a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> daggers go. going through skulls. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to go transition into not good stories. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I saw this video. It was like this news thing. It was this half marathon. I think it was in New York. And this guy who's a uh, cardiac, cardiac, uh, what do you call him? Cardiac, cardiologist. cardiologist? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> a heart doctor. <laughs> he was um, running and it was like, I don't even know, two miles into the race. And this guy collapses in front of him. Oh, no. And he runs over. It turns out that guy's having a heart attack. <gasps> Oof. He performs CPR, saves the dude's life. Amazing. Right? Yeah. And then he's like, okay, well, I'm just going to finish the half marathon, <laughs> yeah. the heart doctor. Um, and so he started running. And then he crossed the finish line. And like right in front of him, another man had a heart attack. No way. And But this guy, he said he flatlined. Like no pulse, <gasps> nothing. Gave him CPR, saved his life. Bro. <laughs> and um, they said that if he didn't stop to help that first man. He never would have saved this other guy. He would never would have saved the other guy. Because he would have been so far Dude, ahead. That's crazy. Is that not insane? Aww. That's nuts. Things yeah. like that don't make sense. I'm obsessed with things like that, dude. I don't understand how that's a coincidence. I, yeah. How could that possibly be a coincidence? I don't say, get it, dude. They say that people... Having heart attacks during marathons is like super rare. No yeah. way. 
But when it does happen, it's like 99% that they die. Wow. Because no, yeah, one, can no one can help them. Help yeah, they're them. in the yeah. middle of this thing. Yeah. Jeez. And he saved two people. Amazing. Yeah. So, lessons learned. Never Always run. enroll a cardiologist no. in your marathon. Yeah. Also, don't run. run. Don't yeah. run. Yeah. Just, <laughs> none of that would have happened. Yeah. If you were, if they they just chose to stay at home. Let's just say running is the dumbest thing ever. Are you a runner? <laughs> Not at all. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Try to avoid Let's it. Go. I do like to run. Yeah. Hey, the Bible says only a fool runs when no one is chasing him. So, Whoa. so I mean, we gotta. There's a lot of truth to that. Is so. that true? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that true? Don't no, back. Don't look that up. Old Testament, New Testament. Which one? I'm just kidding. They both matter. So you're wise <laughs> to run if someone is chasing you. Oh yeah, obviously. What if they're chasing you? With money. With money. With a gift. With a gift. With open arms. <laughs> Who's the fool now? Yeah. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, I thought that was a nice, fun story. I thought it, uh, very nice. it's amazing that he's a cardiologist and like he can work on humans. Yeah. Like he has CPR, because like, usually he fixes cars, right? Yeah. I was yeah. Confused cardiologist. By that too. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, that's, that's impressive. That cardiologist. That kind of, yeah. <laughs> cardiologist. Speaking Diagnosing the car. Speaking of health. 33. I would be remiss if we did not talk at a high level about what we just consumed documentary wise. Oh, dude. At a high level. I love we're the not gonna, language. Today. We're not going to get. We're not going to get too yeah, far into it. Pitch it to me because but I am going to watch it probably this weekend. Here you you want to know why Tell us the name I didn't sleep first. last night? <laughs> it's because of what we watched last night. I, it's yeah. ingrained in my brain. So you went to bed at mi- after midnight? You yes. woke up at 4 30? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. It plagued my dreams. It was a recommendation by the female Jim Carrey, Heather Shaw. Mm-hmm. Love Heather Shaw, comedian. Yes. Yes, she's great. Local, Orlando. Yes. Yes. And it's called Love is One. And it's about a cult. And mm. I'm just fascinated by cults. Mm. Because how do you how do you get there? You know, yeah. like how do you just wake up one day and you're like, this yeah. makes sense to yeah. me? How do I convince people to do this? How do I become a cult leader, right? Or how do you even yeah. join yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so it's this woman named Amy Carlson has this like experience or whatever and like, you know, is taking a lot of things that are illegal and believes that she is God incarnate in a woman on earth. Mother God, she referred herself to. Okay, cool. She seems chill. What's interesting about what you end up seeing in the documentary is that she knows it's a complete ruse. It's not like she's convinced herself of this because she starts reaching out to her family as she's dying and she's like, I'm dying. And like you're not available to me and like whatever all this stuff terrible childhood trauma people love your children be responsible with your children look what happens they'll, they'll, they'll become cult leaders the whole time i'm going how do we avoid this how do we avoid this anyway she skipped she skipped a lot yeah but you don't, I don't oh, want to spoil it. you don't spoil it here's well. here's my number one takeaway i'm looking at all the supplements i'm taking right now <laughs> to see yeah. if what I'm was like, it is like what did she, she drink was, she was consuming colloidal silver in like mm. high amounts because the, the like they, she, they said like a liter a day what yeah. does that do oh, well it turned her blue it mummifies she you it literally yeah. mummifies you why was she taking it because they it, it's like some hippie conspiracy that like they're like it's a medicine but big pharma is trying to put it down because it makes you well and they want to keep you sick or whatever and it's like the same as like how mercury used to be a medicine yeah you know yeah and it's like she's literally just chugging silver <laughs> and you, you got a cough her. here's a cup of mercury yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's not gonna fix anything you watch <laughs> her literally turn blue oh dude it's it's like awful they start and the it's show. not a happy ending right it's no it's, no, it's, it's the worst ending yeah but the if they're just telling a story that's yeah but crazy. they they start the show with like the cops coming into the colt house uh-huh. and she's that's the opening scene it she's a mummified blue person on the bed wrapped in blankets and christmas lights yeah i think i, and I, I saw that I'm like ah <laughs> yeah i said i can't what did, what did we just see and then so we were watching the rest of it and then the last episode dude i was like looking away but i saw things and i'm just like but that was scary like, what a hook I yeah. know it's the first thing you see, <laughs> but Josh is like, <laughs> Josh is like, ah! As soon as it's show, he like freaks out, you know, and he's yeah. like, I can't, and he's like covering his face, and he's looking at me from the side, and I'm, I'm like, this. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, look away, look away. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. why are you? Looking just like so stares, hard? like, <laughs> it's like the ring. It's like, it's like, no, it's cursing you, <laughs> look away. dude. Yeah, so it's on Max, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have, I have to try that because um, that's it, it looks interesting, and a lot of people are talking about it. Yeah. It was sad for these people, it's really man. Sad. They're like, I, it was That's, like, 
It was wild. It's just like that one that we watched on Hulu. Um, oh, that, that guy, guy that convinced was... those college students, these really legit yeah. college students, they were so, so smart. And you see it, man. Like it, you break it down, how like they get their claws into you, and how yeah. they lie and manipulate, and how it's, and it's all because you get secluded. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like, dude, if you're not talking to other people, there's a big problem. Like they're well, yeah. it's so trauma, sad. Trauma it's, does have a big part to do with it too. I was watching. What's the like prosperity preacher you made fun of in that video recently? Oh, Jesse Duplantis. Yeah, dude. He love was, you, like, Jesse. Dude, he was. <laughs> I was watching a thing. <clears throat> there's just a ton of people taking calls. Like all these people are like either completely like evil or completely broken. But they were taking these calls, taking a ton of money. He said the reason Jesus isn't returning is because we're not generous enough mm. yet. He said, I bet if oh you call Amen. in and pay, <laughs> <laughs> don't knock they try it. <laughs> but like it was so blatantly crazy. So yeah. your seat here. Yeah. He was like, yeah, hey, you can do we this put a and thing? Jesus will come back. <laughs> 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 we have the organ music playing this whole time. Listen, if you just sow a seed today, I promise you, you'll get double it tomorrow. So, <laughs> so Ninjas fans, I want to know, if we started a cult sarcastically, <laughs> would you Unironically. give would you <laughs> for the joke? You're How totally much? right, though, Andrew. It's all it's trauma. It's childhood trauma, but then it's also misplaced seeking. Like, people yeah. are just, everyone has this, this yeah. urge to seek what is what we know is God, you know, and it's like it's being misplaced. And yeah. you can tell by their fruit because all these people were like she would like teach you to be like anorexic and stuff. Yeah. And so Any, like, anything to get an answer, anything to feel better. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's always it's always a temporary thing. Yeah. And they would excuse like she had she was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Major. And they would said like when she was like drunk and like being so mean to them and vulgar, it's like. She's she's taking on the pain of the world right now. Wow. She's releasing it, and it's like no, she's just an alcoholic. Yeah, she yeah. like yeah. She would yell at them about making like an, a yucky quesadilla or something. She's like this is like, the worst quesadilla I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're like, she's really like feeling the weight of the earth right now. <laughs> it's like no, maybe it's just a bad quesadilla. <laughs> um, but yeah, speaking of uh, crazy bad quesadillas, quesadillas, quesadillas uh, <laughs> twenty nine. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you guys heard of the Reddit lamp story? No, dude, no. I've saved it, and I'm I've so literally said I need to go home and I need to read it because I've I keep seeing hints about it. Me too. I can't wait to hear. Is it? It's sad. Are you right? telling it? Uh, yeah. Or yeah. scary. Sad. <laughs> it looked scary to me. Oh, you seen it? No, I did the same thing as Andy. Like saw someone it. saw, like yeah. they're like kept looking at it, like they're having a good day. Then they look at the lamp and they remember the story. And Let then, me like, shut it this them guy down, out. Like, oh, what is this? I know, I'm so curious. I love Reddit, man. Hold on, this guy on. I want to give this guy a shout out on TikTok because he said the story so well, and I'm gonna say it not as well. <laughs> Can His you? His name is Christopher uh, Claff Claffin. Claffin. Claflin. Nolan. Claflin. Close. Christopher Claflin on Claffin. TikTok. But yeah, the story is this kid in college was walking and he was just like a normal kid. And this like jock guy started to like push on him and stuff, you know, and like and then he pushed him like super hard and he like hit his head Oh no! and then like woke up. He's like, oh, my gosh, that hurt so bad. And then just went on to class and stuff, goes into class and he sees this really beautiful lady, girl, college student, female. And he's like, man. He's like, she's so beautiful. Like, it's kind of like the instant, like, I love her, you know? And you did that with me, right? I did. And um, basically was pursuing her, and she, like, had a bunch of bad relationships or whatever. Finally, a couple months later, they ended up dating. Long story short, they got married, super in love. They had kids. He had a job. All this is great, right? Um. And he said that he said that like every night he would go into his kids' rooms and like oh. like read him a story, all this stuff, you know. And then one night after leaving the kids' room, he's looking at this lamp in his uh, living room, and he's like, "There's something wrong with that lamp." Oof. And he's like, "It's not right. There's something off with this lamp." And he kept on staring every day. He would come and stare at it, and then it got it got so consuming to him that he like was missing work he was neglecting the kids his wife he would just sit in the living room and just stare at this lamp and he's like it it's it's three-dimensional but it's it's like not it's just weird and his whole marriage fell apart because he was obsessed no. with this lamp and 
His wife left him with the kids. Oh, no. And no, <laughs> then he finally one day was like went over to this lamp, and he's like, this lamp's not real. And all of a sudden, the lamp started to glow. <gasps> and then all of a sudden, he like got super cold, and it like turned into like a portal, sucked him through, and he woke up. On the concrete. On the concrete in front of the college. No. He lived... 10 years no in this reality this false reality cuz oh he gosh. got knocked unconscious and it messed with him so bad he just like suffered with depression yeah. he's like cuz yeah, his wife and kids yeah. don't yeah. exist oh my gosh and so but he said every night he would have a dream of his 5-year-old son and like would have conversations with them but wow. he those people didn't exist dude that's so gnarly is this real that's i mean i don't know Bro, I mean, you hear about people taking drugs where they're like out yeah. for a ten minute trip. What is that? The, the yeah, it's a lifetime. The, the, yeah, the, the, uh, the toad slave sle- stevia, stevia or something. Yeah. No, it's not stevia. Salvia. 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 Salvia, dude, yeah. that is stevia. Is the yeah, the other sweetener. Is sweetener. <laughs> Close. <laughs> no, please do not mix those up. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, which one is? Wait, it? what am I putting in my coffee this morning? <laughs> okay, I heard something similar that it was a Susie Pesto story, which I always stay for a Susie Pesto story. Do you know what What's those are? Susie Pesto no. on TikTok. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Susie, I, that's so crazy. Let call me, me crazy. Guys, yeah. Call me crazy, but I hate store bought pesto. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, this woman was talking about, and I think she was like saying that this was like the start of her psychic journey. I didn't stay for that part, but she had um, she could like somewhat lucid dream, which. I feel like I could do that too, where it's like I'm, I can't control my dreams, but I know that I'm asleep mm-hmm. when I'm dreaming. Kelsey, dreaming Kelsey could do the good. same thing, but I, I, I've never experienced that. It's weird, right? Yeah. I don't understand don't the opposite, where it's like, this is real. Like I don't get that. I have good yeah. control of my mind. Mm. Um. Anywho, they um, she's dreaming and she knows that she's dreaming, and but she's like not waking up, and so and to the point where she's like. I go to sleep in my dream and I wake up in my dream. Oh no. And she in her dream she fell pregnant and but she didn't have contact with like her family or anything like that. So she's like eventually she's just sleeping and waking up at this whole time and she's like, I just gotta get with the program and like deliver mm-hmm. this baby and like live my life or whatever. And she does. She thinks she's gonna wake up when she gives birth. She doesn't. She lives this life, she raises her son to where she becomes a grandmother. And so she's aware all this is happening. She's sleeping, but she's but like, she has no choice. She has to go with it. She's like, is there something oh. wrong with me? Maybe I am awake and I just feel like I'm sleeping or whatever. Yeah. No. And then the, the final night they're celebrating like her 60th birthday or something. She's playing with her grandson, dude. And she wakes up in oh. bed and she's a 21 year old college student, bro. That would. And she has to grieve the loss of. Of this family that she created because they're not real. Could you imagine? Yeah, that's. I terrible. don't. But there's, dude. Like, what if this is a dream? If don't we, say that. If we wake up when we're in middle school still. I, would be so <laughs> sad. I mean, look at middle school. That'd be so sad. <laughs> we have a podcast named Ninjas or Butterflies. This has to be a dream, right? <laughs> Does that lamp dude. look weird to anybody? <laughs> dude, there's a positive way to look at this too, though. Like, imagine you like, you know, you fall asleep, you watch, you don't realize you're dreaming, you watch your like kids grow up and stuff. And then you wake up to realize that you get to relive all of that. So you get Aww. like twice as long with your yeah, family. You yeah, but what if, what if it's not what the same family? Like Would you still love I'm them? I'm just trying to make it a little happier <laughs> yeah, you over know. here. <laughs> 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 Um, that would uh, do that. I've Because Ari Shafir, that comedian, he said he took that, whatever that one is. Stevia. And Stevia. So. <laughs> That's and, the clip uh, I'm thinking of. And yeah, he went... It was like four months. He said he li- he had friendships. He had a wife. He had everything. Like it was like he had a job. Yeah. And he wakes up like five minutes later. I'm like that seems like no fun yeah. at all. Everybody's looking at him. They're like, "You good?" It's like, very much no. <laughs> like, yeah. Not coming back. Do you lucid dream, Corey? Uh, no. Uh, I've never really had the opportunity to, but I also mm-hmm. don't really feel good about it. I don't yeah. know. No, it's bad. Yeah. Oh no, I yeah. There's yeah. people yeah. that like yeah. are training to do it. Yeah. But like they have like the goggles that like have like the blinking yeah. lights. So it's like, yeah. oh, so when you see those, you know you're dreaming. And so that you can like it's like that just seems like a yeah. recipe for disaster. Yeah, I've definitely listened to some stuff about it where uh it's a, it's a definitely and you call it a gateway drug. <laughs> yeah. Um it yeah, it kind of brings you it's opening you up into a place that you probably shouldn't go. Yeah. Um I I forget exactly who there's there's another podcast I've listened to called Smart Talks? No, that's completely Stevie wrong. Stevie Talk. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it, I don't even remember what it's called. But uh, but they were interviewing this dude that he was heavy in um, 
psychedelics, heavy in like, borderline cult leader, mm. I think even at some point. Um, but he was heavily talking about like lucid dreaming and that like lucid dreams, um, like tripping on stuff, like, yeah. d- like taking stuff that causes hallucinations. Like it's opening you up into this like other, yeah. call it a realm. I don't know. Uh, yes. like it's, a, it's a, cause a lot of people have these like demonic yeah. encounters with yes. this yeah. stuff. They're like, not only that, but I was listening to, um, blurry creatures and they were talking about this mm-hmm. and, um, the practice of like DMT and all yeah. that stuff. It's like ancient. Yeah. Um, but they're saying that these these entities that they come across when they are hallucinating match up exactly all over the world. Mm-hmm. Like anyone that takes DMT or like whatever, they see these same entities. Yeah. And it's like that's not cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. is that a glimpse into what we shouldn't be seeing is like a, yeah. a peek, peek behind the curtain a little and, bit. And so it's like you have you have like the Christian side of things like oh I had a vision. I had these things. But like kind of what they were talking about has like when you go into this realm, when you're doing shrooms or doing this other stuff, like uh, chemically altering yourself to enter into a different space of the sort, like you're, you're kind of like unsupervised. You don't yeah. like yeah. W- with with the Christian faith and following it that way. It's like you have Jesus as your guide. You ha- like you have the Holy Spirit with you. And so you have like like protection. Yeah. Like you're you're like going you're. Because I, I, I do believe, like, Jesus will give people visions. People get v- visions and dreams and stuff from right. the Lord. And uh, and so it's like, yeah, he's there. Like, dude, everything bows to Jesus. And so it's like, you know, if you're in this kind of spiritual place where our flesh bodies aren't used to rocking, you know. Yeah. Um, so, you, you got Jesus, he's your guy. But then if you're just running wild and free, dude, it's the danger zone. Dude, seriously. It's like getting in the wrong Uber. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, anytime go. someone Check says danger zone, zone. <laughs> anytime someone says danger zone, I think of Top Gun. Like <laughs> yeah. instantly, it's like a tick or something. So it can't be a bad thing. Yeah. Going into the danger zone. <laughs> if Tom Cruise went there, I can too. Yeah. Is the danger zone just Scientology? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. That song's all about. Very much. It's yeah. so real though, and we were talking about this too because we know someone that has. Um, done psychedelics and stuff and yeah. like particularly with this love is one thing i'm going to keep harping on it like this this idea that god is a woman just comes up so much in like yes. these groups no, yeah, especially that do psychedelics and to me that's probably not particularly abhorrent to god to be called a woman but it's it's the opposite of what yeah scripture tells us you know and like i don't know it i would say it is but yeah, yeah i mean i just don't, not like you know what i'm saying well, God established. <laughs> Wait, are we saying the same thing? <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, God. He's established roles. Exactly. He, like, yeah. like, there's a reason, and I uh, hope um, we don't get canceled. <laughs> we wouldn't, no. Uh, but there's a reason that, like, the Bible has said, like, oh, the father head of household. Like, Correct. God head. And then, and, like, that's why. He, exactly. Like, that's the role, and that's why, that's one of the reasons we call him father, mm. you know? He's the head. Yeah. Exactly. Call him dead. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Papa. Mm. I get it. That okay, guy. I get it. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Same page, different book, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Did you just come <laughs> up with that? Yep. Whoa. I said that. Whoa. Yep. Oh, man. Mm. But speaking of mothers, <gasps> not being the head of the household. Oh, oh get no. <laughs> Don't cancel us. <laughs> hey, we got that. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh. What's that, dude? Hey, I have something really cool I want to share with you. Tell me all about it, dude. Dude, if you go to sundaycool.com, you can order all types of winter wear, beanies, hats, and hoodies for the cold season. You don't say, dude. It's pretty dope. I like it a lot. And also, did you know another thing? Uh, No. You can go to sundaycoolswag.com and get all types of custom merch that we made just for you and your fam. You're kidding me, dude. No, so if you just want a one-off hat, a one-off shirt, or you want to buy a bulk a bunch, a bulk a bunch. (laughs) It's a new word. It's a new quantity. I like it, dude. Yeah, and it's all you got to do. You got to sundaycall.com. Order your custom merch for you, your group, or your community, or your business. Or you can go to Sunday Cold Swag and get some merch for yourself. Bulk and bulk. bulk. Bunch of bulk. That's right, dude. What do you think, Corey? What? Say That's what I said. That's how they say it there. This is very <laughs> oh. oh, Dude, get that French out of here, dude, before I <laughs> fight him, dude. <laughs> Frenchy over there. <laughs> yeah, Napoleon over there, dude. <laughs> Man of little stature. What is that? A little French baguette over there, dude. <laughs> Get out of here. 
I'm sick of the French, Dad. <laughs> Freaking sick of the French. I'm sick of the French. Get out of here. I'm sorry to say it, dude. I'm sick of it. <laughs> All right. You got me like um, self conscious to make the pop after editing the last uh, podcast. You, I'm like, so used you to made it, fun though. of you it. You have to do it. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Um, that was Speaking like, of canceled, everybody's getting canceled right now. Mm. Who? Who? A couple people. I it's, can't remember all it's, of them. It's, it's can, now <laughs> yeah, they're canceled. <laughs> they're, they're gone. <laughs> they're, they're so I will canceled. never remember them. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's getting to the point where it's. It's not as bad as it used to be. Oh, I remember. You're canceled for like two weeks and then you're back like you're back to normal. Elon? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. uh, They're attempting to cancel him. Mm. Additionally, that comedian that apparently Matt Reif. A a fake jaw. Oh, yeah, for sure. Is that fake? I'm pretty sure. Everyone says it is. One TikTok, uh, a plastic surgeon, Matt Reif. Yeah. Uh, They're saying he has a a chin implant and everything like that. Mm, Maybe I'm I'm assuming puberty just hit him really hard and really late. Who knows? But. Was that an ad fun though? That was a fun ad. I, I had a, I had a blast. I didn't know that Corey was uh, French. I had no idea. Uh-oh. Yeah, kind of surprised me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of fun. Um, we're we're talking about realms and all this stuff. Mm. I want to briefly talk about this story I heard about time travel. <gasps> it's been a while. It's time traveling. The dead travel sound. The what? Time travel noise. Oh yes, Is that would it make. Yeah, yeah. I, I can could imagine. Yeah. Have you guys heard of this radio station? It's like really old, or it's been around for a while. Called Coast to Coast. Yep. Uh, heard of it, not seen it. Yeah. Or, well, I guess radio yeah. you don't see, but not yeah. heard it. Yeah. Heard of it, not heard it. Heard of it, but not have he heard it. I've heard yeah. of it, but I don't. I refuse to hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But this guy, he always interviews like the craziest of people. Um, and there's one story that Wi Fi has talked about of this guy building a time machine and stuff. And it's wild. I don't want to get into it because <laughs> it's super long. Yeah. But this story about time travel, this average Joe calls in. And he's like, I've, he's like, I don't really tell people this story because he's like, I don't even know if I believe it. Mm-hmm. But he's like, this is what happened to me. He has, this guy collects like motorcycles and stuff. And he has like, two motorcycles in particular that he like loves. And he told his daughter, um, like when I die, you can sell everything, but please keep these two motorcycles within the family. And he didn't have any grandkids or anything. And then he, one of them was like some like Honda something from like 1970. Honda. Honda. Like a Honda Accord probably. Makes yeah. motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. They make <laughs> the Honda Accord <laughs> motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he like drove it to the coffee shop. He's getting a coffee. This guy comes in. He's like, hey, who has the Honda whatever? He like named the exact what, model. Yeah, yeah, it was whatever. And he's like, yeah, it's mine. And he's like, no way. He's like, I have one just like that. <gasps> weird. And uh, they just started talking. And he's like, I couldn't. This is so weird. This guy like, you know, like when you just like feel a connection with someone like, mm-hmm. wow, I feel like I know you. Yeah. He's talking to this kid. He said he was like in his 20s. And he's like, yeah, I've uh, had it, blah, blah, blah. And he's like. What other bikes do you have? He like mentioned the other one that he really loves. He's like, no way, I have that bike as well. He's like, what? He's like, that's crazy. He's like, yeah, my uh, it was passed down from my grandpa. No oh, way, dude. And he's like, weird. Oh, that's strange. And then um, the guy started acting like super weird. Mm-hmm. The kid. And then, yeah, and he started to cry. <gasps> the twenty year old kid. And he like, he's like, I'm sorry. But can I hug you? And the guy's like, uh, yeah, sure. And so the kid said this to the guy. Yeah. And so he's hugging. And then the kid whispers in his ear. And he says, in October, do not go to Alaska. Ew. Mm. I got chills over my And the life. guy is just like, okay, all right. I wasn't planning on it. But he's like, but I do travel to Alaska at least six times a year for his job or yeah. whatever. But he's like, I wasn't planning on it in October. And, and he's like, that's it. That's all I need to say. And he's like. It was really nice meeting you. And then he left. And he's like, this is really weird. And so it goes out. And he said when he walked out, he said, I don't know if it was the sun reflecting off of something or what. But he saw a flash. And he walked out. And he couldn't find the kid. And so he's like, kind of convinced that it was his grandson. Time somehow traveling. Time traveling. What in the world? Dude? Yeah. <laughs> but this guy was just like, he's like, I don't. 
Is this yeah, he's not claiming. He's not yeah. claiming like, hey, this is what happened. Like, yeah, this this is what I believe. It's like this is what happened. I cannot yeah. explain it. Yeah, golly, dude, how dude that would would that not just ruin your whole life? Like thinking, what was that? Yeah. Oh man, it reminds so. me of that new girl clip. Where Nick <laughs> thinks, Nick. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, beep boop bop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make her an old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite scenes from that show. Yeah, it was so good. So, oh, that's but crazy. what about October? What happened? The plane crash. No, he not, no, like he didn't go to Alaska in October. <laughs> yeah, nothing and popped over his jaw. I was like, you got to come, Dougie. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm not doing it. I can't. Alaska blew up in October. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's exploded. But I thought that was crazy. That is wild, that man. Is I, time travel just freaks me out, dude. We've never yeah. really, like I said earlier, we haven't talked just about. Do you believe time travel exists? It can. Is it possible? I th- yes, it is possible. Yeah. It's how how does that work? Bending space and time. Yeah. I have how a, can we do that on Earth? I have oh, a simple the theological CERN. refusal to accept it. So I mean, like, we live in a causal universe, and so if the Bible has been prophetic, a causal, so, yeah, what causality, oh. thing, things cause other things to yeah. happen. Duh. So if there's Sorry. a <laughs> pro, if there's a prophetic end, and things have been enacted at the creation of the universe, and with Jesus interacting, you know, on Earth. There's a causal list of things that have happened. In his foreknowledge, he did things that cause other things to happen. So if we could go back and affect things that we've learned, we would be able to hold a sovereignty over God. And Mm. I don't think that's possible. Interesting. Now, to argue for it, maybe the science exists, but maybe in the same way you believe the flood happened to shut down perversion, maybe the end happens before we actually completely figure it out. That sounded like a riddle. That sounded like a lot. <laughs> I, Neil, that was really smart. I just, that was hard for me to keep up, honestly. Neil, I literally stopped at the first word. I was like, wait. <laughs> so, causal. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're still going. Literally, the first word it was like, Cos- Cos- define that first. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I believe that guy, if you've seen him, he's a uh, smart guy. Yeah. Smart science man. And uh, I, I think he talked about how, like, we don't have backwards time travel. We only yeah. have forward. Like that's because what, you can't go to a place like there's not a receiver on that side well, because the assumption would, it would again we're talking theoretically so we don't know. Yeah. But uh, the assumption would be you need like the receiving point and it. since once time travel is made then you could jump forward and go back to when yeah, it was made. That makes sense. But from that but you can't go backwards. So got it. So there's so, got to be time and place where yeah. we have to invent it first, and yeah. that's and that's the starting point. But there's, but I don't know if that would affect things like the like what you were talking about. Like the like I get the backwards. Backwards is bad. But so I think even moving forward, because I believe God exists outside of the timeline for sure, and so we would still be interfering with His sovereignty if we were jumping ahead. Yeah. So wouldn't that be a part of like our free will though? Like if like See, yeah, that's, that's I, where we have that's where we have theological. Well, I'm difference. saying if we have the ability to do whatever we want on Earth. Well, hold on, Andrew. <laughs> hold on a second. Yeah. We're not going to get into like Calvinism <laughs> or whatever, but we do have, <laughs> we do have free will. Make your biblical argument. We have free will. Which God has allowed us to have, but like I can do this. Weird, 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 weird. (laughs) Free will. (laughs) But God made you do that, dude. The the argument for Calvinism is just that because God exists outside of the timeline, He knows what decisions will be made and not made. Foreknowledge versus Him causing and predetermining. He did. Although I will say the thing that threw me for a loop, it still has thrown me for a theological loop. Is in Romans, when it talks about how God hardened Pharaoh's heart. heart. Now, here's here's Yo. what's fun. Welcome when you to Ninjas and Butterflies. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, 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 really quick. If you go back, yeah, the the words used it says Pharaoh hardened his heart, and God hardened Pharaoh's heart. He gave him multiple chances, and it was at this point where mm. there was a there's a telling. There's no turning back. You're a per, you're a person that's not going to change your mind. You're stubborn. Yeah. This is and this is how. I'm, I now I'm using you for an example. This yeah. is like how I explain you've, it. You've made your chosen your decision. Free will is saying, I'm not going to leave this room, but the causal universe around us has locked the door and we have no idea. So we're responsible for the decision to stay, but the causal universe that God has created has actually put us in the exact But if we can time travel within that room, in that space, and we have the perversion of all this science and all these ideas that we were able to build, if we're able to create AI, why not? Like, why can't we create, if we can create other beings by genetically testing them and stuff, it's like time travel is not 
something that's like that was outside the, of that. That was the argument we got into, though. Are we creating souls or just creating intertwined matter? I think yeah. AI is time travel something has that we souls, oh are gosh. not aware of. Let's go on this. I know I have <laughs> a crazy AI thing. Wait, wait, wait. But with AI, we'll segue. Yeah. Okay. You know how it says like Satan can't like create, but he can just mimic? Mm-hmm. Sure. So God created man. And yeah. AI is a form of consciousness ish that's all robotic. Is that Satan's version? I mean, it's literally making people. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Not fun, but that's a, it's good. horrifying, but yeah. interesting. <laughs> I mean, you can get it's literally the definition of uncanny valley. It's like yeah. everything almost up to a human. Yeah. Everything almost like that appears to be human, but it's lacking a soul. Is <laughs> AI just a satanic nerd? Mm. Is Satan just a nerd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, take that, nerd. So you guys saw how <laughs> Sam Altman was fired from yeah, mm-hmm. uh, a lot AI. of drama, dude. This is it's wild. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen stuff about it. It I'm happened like, overnight. It okay, was crazy. But he's dude. back again. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. swiping away, waiting for your explanation. Yeah, so he was fired, let go for four days, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, he went met with the board. They had they, that girl that was interim for a little while. Yeah, and they, they couldn't reach an agreement. So Sam was going over to Windows to run the AI division over there. Then, like, I think it was 500 out of 700 of the staff for OpenAI it said, yeah. sent a letter to the board saying, we're all going to quit. Um, 20. We're all going to quit <laughs> and um, if you don't bring Sam Altman back. And so they reached an agreement, and he's back. But there's a theory of why they fired him. Okay. Uh-oh. Pretty good theory. All right. Because some it. of the board of members actually talked about it. All righty. So it's not even really a theory, but okay. it might be. Yeah. So OpenAI is working on this thing. It's called QSTAR, and they haven't revealed a lot about it, but people are speculating that it's AGI, which is artificial general intelligence, mm. and that's what every person that knows anything about AI, Elon Musk, whoever. Yeah, they're trying to poo-poo on it, right? They're like... Do we don't want do to go this. there. Elon Musk was quoted saying, uh, if AGI was in our world, money would be irrelevant. And he was quoted saying, AGI is smarter than a human in every way, uh, could even simulate a human. And then Sam Altman was being interviewed. And he's like, uh, AGI is equivalent to a median human, uh, meaning like, Average. You could hire this AGI for your company, mm. and they could learn. They could become a doctor, a coder, whatever. And he says, but they could reach a super intelligence that surpasses humanity. Basically, like, AGI would be the end of everything. Right. Yeah. And then someone from OpenAI, the board, they were quoted saying, um, basically, this thing that they're working on, we wanted to put a stop to it. And if it continues, we'll destroy the company ourselves. Like, we'll, because they said it's a threat to humanity. Yes. Yeah, but once What's it's happening? open, can it be stopped? No. And if someone's going to create it, it's going to be created somewhere. Yeah. If this it's not the them, it's thing. China, it's whoever. Oh my you gosh, know? this is the, just like Oppenheimer, Andy, don't d- say d- it out <laughs> loud. <gasps> but the, the, the concept of AGI, they said it could happen by 2030 or it could happen hundreds, hundreds of years from now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so advance it's like it would be taking like a huge leap into so it's almost like this is the possible this is almost the inevitable it's yeah. either, so it's either now and we talked or about the 80 later. year theory yeah for real could this dude. be oh boy the beginning of agi let's unplug everything hey unplug people it. say we're bad at recycling we recycle history all the time guys <laughs> it literally just keeps coming back yeah, so that that's freaky. That right? is so freaky, man. That whole that whole thing. That's so much power into that uh, that that technology, and it is scary because if someone uh, some other country harnesses it, can't that be a terrorist for other countries? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, like cyber yeah. terrorism, like yeah. to a whole Dang. other level. Um, I'm over here fixated on the fact: why does OpenAI need 700 employees? Oh um, man, I can't imagine how deep I, it all goes. I, I could not. OpenAI has so many different facets of all. Of them. They're constantly just, yeah. making new okay. yeah. like programs and stuff, and like tweaking. they don't have like a physical deliverable. It's like they have the software, the software, several yeah, software softwares. companies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of people. You think about every need. But every, can I hold like, it in my hands? 
But then I it's just, not real. And I just think about Sunday Cool in that application. Like we only have a hundred people and everything that we produce. Yeah, we're not producing artificial intelligence, so. Yeah. No, You're right. No. We're producing something better. Super soft tees at a super soft price. Sundaycool.com. Ayo. <laughs> um, but yeah. What's a price? Well, how's a price super soft? Why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. It could well, be. It's like it just doesn't hit you. you hard. Yeah. 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 It's like, ooh, that's a good price. I'm not, not offended. <laughs> did you guys hear how they're trying to make glow in the dark trees? What? what? <laughs> Talking about like uh, messing with genes and DNA. Avatar's already done it, dude. Mm. Scientists, they're literally <laughs> taking genes from like. Uh, luminous bioluminescent. creature, bioluminescent. That's the word. Yep. From like fireflies, jellyfish, whatever. The ocean and they're too. Integrating it. Yeah. They're integrating it into trees to where Dude. trees will glow in the dark at night. Cool. How cool would that be? It's actually and they, dope. They, they like imagine putting like in small towns and we don't need like lights. That's anymore. what they want to do, dude. They said no more fun. street lights. It would just be trees, but they're also trying to make it to where it sucks up like a hundred times more carbon monoxide. Dude. If trees dope. aren't doing enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, come on! <laughs> We're just disappointed in you. Could you be better? <laughs> Imagine it's just, just like being... some some dad. It's like this tree's father. It's like you got to be better than you. you, you know, like you, you light up, brother. <laughs> Your brother's toilet paper now. He's wiping butts. <laughs> <laughs> you can be something better. You can glow, baby. You can be a star. <laughs> dude, treehouse parties would be so much oh, fun, dude. Wow. I'm just trying to think about a bird making a nest in the tree dude, and then night so coming. Bummed. They're like, what like, is this? Like, 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 on mask on. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like that would probably mess with our ecosystem. You yeah, imagine like, 100% animals and stuff, what you know? takes all over it, all foliage. Like yeah. the whole world is always just glowing. glowing. It's like never dark. Yeah. That would be wild, man. Our but that would be so much be- that would be so much better than lights and electricity, though. I would much I rather have trees that are toxic or something instead of just a bunch <laughs> of <laughs> light poles and power lines and it stuff. It has light. I wonder if to some extent it also has heat. Like what would that do to like warming the planet? Oh, no. no. And oh, can maybe we... it's already hot. Hey. Why would it be hot? So Bioluminescent things don't heat up. Like fireflies, they're not hot. Well, but to some extent, it's light. Yeah. Light is energy. Mm. So to some degree, it's a small enough degree we don't feel it. But to some degree, mm-hmm. it has to create some sort of energy yeah, yeah. we gotta check the math it's on perceived it. energy mm. somebody show us the math when Does energy little, mean heat it. though when yeah. i was little i fi- uh, swallowed a firefly to see if it would glow in my stomach and didn't it Please. did not <laughs> did you used to squish them <laughs> tell the yeah. story about the other thing you swallowed as a kid a magnet yeah, but the, you know the spinny magnets that you go... No, like the, the egg-shaped ones you throw up and like... Oh, like, yeah. yeah. You swallow the whole one? Yeah. A Those things one? are like three inches, dude. That's uh, the, it was like, I feel like it was smaller. Yeah, than I that's had, crazy. Where I, like, had it like, where I was like keeping it like magnetically attached to like my cheek. Yeah. And then my mom like hit the brakes in the car. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whenever, but every time you sit on the toilet, <laughs> I wonder. That's what. Like, if it's like slowly. Like, wait, are you serious? Are you serious? You never, no. you never pooped it out. No, now that you know of, I guess. No, dude, but that's that crazy. Could, I, could that explain my tummy troubles? I will say to. I mean, he's gotten a cat scan since yeah. then on his abdomen, so they would have seen that, right? It, yeah. it would have done something. <laughs> is that is that, that why is you have always magnet. just a bunch yeah, of quarters true. connected to your stomach? Yeah, <laughs> anytime <laughs> I walk past a chain link fence, I just get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just put your wallet right there. It makes the same sound, down. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's amazing. So you must uh, have digested it, though. I guess. Or, Ew. Or maybe it was hidden in a poop. I swallowed uh, I swallowed my sister's <laughs> ring one time when I was a kid and a bunch of pennies. <laughs> oh, a bunch of pennies. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I, I mean, I don't know. I was just a kid, and so I was just chewing on stuff, swallowing it. And it's then like I found my weird addiction, very that yeah. show. you just like addicted <laughs> yeah. to swallowing pennies. I love Kappa. You have to um, stop. I uh, got a rubber nose up. Uh, I'm a rubber band up my nose <laughs> <laughs> uh, one time, and I think I had to go to the hospital. I was so scared, dude. I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> that is scary. Um, Speaking of scary, I have something to share. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Lily. <laughs> the paper, the paper, the, paper, the, song, the, paper, the band. Whenever I do hear this, I do hear the swishing though, in, in the headphones. Yeah, Did you guys like hear that too? Wearing hammer pants. Oh yes, I, oh, yeah, I, I hear it. Like the, here and there, it's the just, wind. It's this. Yeah. Thing. It's really windy in here. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Abba. Oh. Andrew has a real for us now. Please watch it near. What's another one? 
Friday day and it's really nice. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Andrew has a reel for our eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's going to send it mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. all our phones. Mm-hmm. We're going to watch it now. Watch it now. Preface, there are a ton of cringy, like it's one of those videos that shows a few and there's a dude reacting in a very cringy way. But the videos themselves are insane. Cringe. The audio. Variety. I always I do the audio. If something sketchy happens, I'll bleep it. <laughs> there you go. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's got to be a better way to do that. Right? There's got to be a better way to do that. This one hurts my soul. Oh. Oh, I saw this. Literally covers that in concrete. Dude. And then this one. What are you doing? Oh! This guy. Ah. Do it with the shovel. No one's even watching Dude. it for that guy reacting. No! I know. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Whoa! What I don't know. That? I don't know what Probably that Probably a gas was. line or something. Bro. <laughs> a forklift on a forklift. Forkliftception. Whoa. I've seen this dude. This guy's actually smart. He nails it. Is that old faithful? It is. Anyways. Some of these it's like Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Watch out. Oh. Watch your eyes. Hey buddy, you know what time it is? <gasps> question, 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 I did not prepare. <laughs> what really? is happening? Hey, oh my everybody gosh. chill out. One pod this week, and it's on Friday. Everybody chill out. I have a list of questions that I keep for this particular moment. Okay. So you could have just said, you do have one. Yeah. I know, but, you but then Josh is going to come up to me later and say, your question was trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't. In the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, wake up. Your question today was trash. While, she, while, while, she's, while she's dreaming. <laughs> Get it together. Okay. If you were a pizza, what would your <laughs> toppings be? Lily, that's, oh, that God. is trash. <laughs> that's a trash question. Okay. Pathetic. Okay. That's pathetic. Come on. Are you an eggnog or a hot chocolate person? Hot chocolate. Next. <laughs> hot chocolate? Yeah. yeah. Hot chocolate. <laughs> Give us something deep. Oh, I don't know. Just think of something. If you were susceptible to any cult in particular, which one would it be? Flat Earth Society. Probably Scientology because uh, I'd be like really flattered. They thought I, like I was a celebrity. Uh, like, oh, you think would, I'm good enough to recruit? Thank hmm. you. Would you say Flat Earth is a cult? Yeah, I, I would say. I think anything. The, the, the aggression that they have? Yeah, that's a cult, yeah. dude. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, we I all, almost joined it. We all work at something. You did for two well. weeks. I did, yeah. Except for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So Corey's honorary. Mm-hmm. I work at a screen printing shop within one. Mm. Yeah. Golden, Golden Press, right? Golden Press yeah. Studio. That's if, for you, Jonathan. Nice. If we were a cult, what would we be named? Um If you could name any cult. If you could, if you could cult, oh, if the you Colts. Can, uh mm. the football <gasps> team oh. of Indiana. Ooh. Oh. And you came from there, so yes. inside job. Yep. I'm trying to find uh, a I'll good question. Cult. cult. I would. I would just call it the cult. The cult. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Because no one would ever expect. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like, oh, like, no, they're, oh, they're, they're such a cult. Cool. It's like, yeah, we are the cult. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We kind of embraced it. You know? Everyone's <laughs> been trying to rip us off. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we were the first. It's kind of like what the Denver airport's doing. Like they're like we're co- like they're doing advertisements about like conspiracy. Like how our airports like they're zoning Speaking it now. Of that, did yeah. you see that new art piece that they just put in? No, oh. Denver airport. Can they just chill on the art, bro? Can <laughs> they, they made, just chill? They made basically it's like a sculpture of flat Earth. Oh great! And there's like th- then it shows like sand and rocks, meaning like there's something past the how the flat Earth think thinkers think. <laughs> What they thought, yeah, all around the world. When they think it, of when you get past the ice wall, there's more land and mm-hmm. stuff. So they made like an art piece, but there's like train tracks around it. And it's like the weirdest well, looking they, thing. They love train tracks there. At, yeah, at they the, do. They, there's train tracks all over the Denver airport. Yeah. What's the point with that? You think? What's the symbolism behind a train track? I don't know. But then there's like a clock at the top, or mm. something. Dude, I forget. I'm speaking of clocks, I don't get it. 
Speaking of clocks, did you see what Jeff Bezos is building I in Texas? Right dude, now. clocks, you got to talk about it, dude. It's too trippy. It's weird. It's It makes no sense. I don't understand why you're spending, what is it, $4 million? No, $42 million. $42 million. Uh, Golly, Jeff dude. Bezos has spent $42 million building a clock inside of a mountain that he says will outlast humanity. Why? So it's mountain time? It's a doomsday thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I never know which one that one is. Is he just like, in case the world ends, you guys should probably have a clock? I don't know. Maybe he, it's does, like his own timer. Does yeah. he know that we could tell time before we had clocks? No, we can't, yeah, but, we can't do that. <laughs> so what's the point of that? Dude, Forty-two there, there million to, dollars. There's something weird with it. That's for sure. A hundred ten percent. They like they dug this tunnel literally at the top of this mountain, and this thing is like stories tall with all these mechanisms, and it just runs. It's like the most accurate clock, and he says that it will outlast humanity. Scary. Maybe he, it's like a timer for something. Oh. Mm. Mm. Is Mormonism a cult? It's a religion. I think it's a yeah. I think it's a dep- I think it's been called that. Do people depend on who you ask? That's probably the one I get into. Yeah, they're nice people. They are. Yeah, we lived in Idaho and we got like that was like ever that was everyone. Everyone yeah. was Mormon. They're you very get a nice planet people. if you're good. Hey, there you go. Sign me up. <laughs> we do have Mormon listeners. So. I w- we honestly we, we need we, that would be fun to, that would be that would be fun to interview. <laughs> No, yeah, because I, like, I don't, I don't know nearly as much about it as I, um, I used to. I, I, I know used quite to read a about bit. It. Yeah, dude, when yeah. I was in Bible college, I <clears throat> kissed a Mormon. <gasps> Joshua. What? It was an accident. What was his name? <laughs> 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 when I was in Bible college, we had uh, someone from a mosque. Uh, whatever you call an islamic pastor and he came in and the whole point was like we're gonna like just have open dialogue and literally as soon as he left our missions professor was just like roasting he was like <laughs> that's not true but he waited for him to leave he just like went through a just series of respectful like yeah. to him he just nodded and i was like well that was cordial and then as soon as it was over he was like wrong 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 speaking of like colts though have you ever thought about if there's tornadoes outside of the U.S., have you ever seen a tornado outside of the U.S.? Mm, only on the water. I don't mm. think That'd be a so. spout. Yeah. There's got to be. And there's not. What do you mean? Like our climate is only... But it, it, We have tornadoes all across the U.S., so how is that possible? Well, I saw this one guy who asked that question, and yeah. he did research. It turns out the United States is like perfectly on the world to where... I'm sure there's been tornadoes somewhere else. At mm-hmm. some point around the world. There has to be, yeah. Where's that? South Africa. They can't. That's just a picture. Yeah. I don't know I know it's <laughs> South Africa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't know edited, that. You know. But the U.S. is like situated on the planet to where all the weather phenomenons happen to where the U.S. is like known for It's like the, perf- the perfect storm. storm. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> is he in that? Yes. No. Perfect storm. Who is that? This yes. Kevin, Kevin Costner? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that That's Kevin Costner? the ocean one. Yes. I'm thinking of... Oh, that's George Clooney, right? George no. Clooney and Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, George Clooney's in that. I was thinking about... Which one's the one with Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher? Like they're oh, like that's when they're the Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Yeah. yeah. That's the butterfly effect. Right. Yeah. But what's the one with... Oh, no. With dude, uh, dude stole my car. No, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That's yeah, how, okay, I forgot how to Lose a Tornado in 10 Days. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> 75% of the world's tornadoes happen in the United States. Yeah. Some are, some people say 90. Most people agree 75%. So people outside the United States, I was right. States, yep. Yep. Are you they were? getting like freaked out? Like, like the, because they're probably not being taught about tornadoes like we are. Yeah. Like, everyone knows tornadoes. We have movies about tornadoes. Yeah. We love them. Twister. Yeah. Twister 2 is coming out next year. Boop. There you go. How are they doing it without Bill Paxton? I know, it's sad. But. And like, are hopping. people from coming to America just getting shocked? Like, tornado. tornado. That would be uh, the imagine. scariest thing. You're just visiting, and like, this you're just like in the Midwest, massive. and you just see this massive just tunnel flying through and the sky. Like, you know that's normal. happened too. Oh yeah, for sure. Like tourists, like from like I don't know, France come. Yeah, yeah. but they're not they're going like, to like Kansas. Or how do you know? They might have family in Kansas. No, I've seen. You don't think watches. a Frenchman has been to Kansas? Why would we literally go to Kansas. We literally had. You remember those people that came from Israel? Yeah. Literally flew to Orlando just so they could come visit us, and they drove because they had a wedding in Kansas there that they go. had to go to. I'm like, so they probably didn't realize how Wrong. big America is. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, it's 16 hours. Oh, wait, <laughs> right, it's that right down the road. How far can Kansas really be? Dude, my favorite is people like who have never experienced a hurricane when they vacation in Florida, and you're like explaining to them what's going to happen. When I used to work at resorts, people would trip out. They're like, 
but it'd be like hitting Orlando while we're in the panhandle, and they'd be freaking out seeing st- any storm anywhere. I still am. Uh, I, I'm still not sure how I feel about hurricanes because most like m- most of the time it's been fun so far, but we haven't been hit since I've lived here. Yeah. yeah. It's so, so it's like one of those things where yeah. I, until until it hits, it's probably going to be well, pretty it's, chill. It's like Central Florida is like yeah, the yeah. best place to be. Yeah. On it the is. coast is scary. Keep it me. is so different when you know that, like, if it's a Cat 3, our house is flooding. Like, I lived in a house where the water came up four feet back home. Dang. The place I went to college, they... they got so, floor. Andy, it would have been above his floor. head. Yeah. Shoot. You would have been drowning. You'd have been swimming for, like, three days. Drowning, like, a foot before I even started <laughs> swimming. My joke was good. You don't have to, like, keep <laughs> going into it. It was a dig at me. I'm digging at you. Stop digging. <laughs> I dig it. Start swimming. <laughs> I, I, at least I could tread water. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, right, I, got, I, I got something for you guys. Yeah. I got a story. Or a thing. I don't, know, I don't know what to call it, but it's a thing. Okay. Do you guys okay. know? What do you guys know about the Solomon Islands? Solomon? With the, the statues? No. That's the Easter Island. Yep. Which those ones are wild, too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never even heard about the Solomon Me Islands. Me neither. That was such a polite no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see how he does it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. The Solomon Islands. They look pretty. So I got I got a story. <laughs> hey, they look nice. So uh, they're over by Australia. Mm. Um, Australia. Yeah. So, yeah, so right in, right in that realm. The Solomon that, Islands. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Were you, was this yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so the time period, we're going 21st century. All right. We're going, I, it could be like the 80s. So 2100. We got trucks, okay? Um, and so we got these guys. Uh, they're... There, oh, the the island is also specifically called uh, the Guadalcanal Island. Oh, Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal. Solomon Guadal- Islands. Guadal. White Guadal. Uh, and we got these guys. They are, um, they're like a governor, a finance minister, and they they hop in their truck, the good old pickup truck, and uh, they're they're driving up out to these mines to check out, uh, probably survey the mines. I don't know. You you do what you do with the mines. Yeah. You survey yeah. them. Uh, and as you would do in the Guadalcanal, yeah, yeah. everyone's hey, done that. Winning yeah. Guado, <laughs> yeah, he's got a point. Guado. Uh, Guado. So it had rained, and so it's raining, and the road is slick, and so they're rolling, and then they slip and slide, and they zip off the side of the road, and they're like, "Oh, dang it, dude!" We're Sounds stuck. like Dr. Seuss. That was yeah. well said. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're bummed. They're like, "All right, we got to what? What are you gonna do? How do you get the truck back on the road?" You know, you don't got AAA in, in Guadalcanal. So they're like, we're going to walk back to town, get 30 dudes together, and we're just going to try to push the truck back on the road. So they roll back into town, or walk, uh, and get back. And as they arrive, there is something else there. And there are two roughly 15-foot-tall giants. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. On... Here, there, Guadalcanal, they had put the truck back on the road. The giants? The giants. <laughs> 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 and, Shut up. And the people, they freak out. Obviously, we have 30 dudes. They have 30 witnesses. The yeah. 30 dudes see these very large people. They got red hair. Oh. Dude. Typical. Dude. In, in Australia? That's wild, Close. man. Uh, and <laughs> and so the dudes they they dip out they're like afraid obviously when you see a tall person like that you get scared and yeah. you run away and so they they flee and then the, like after maybe like thirty minutes the dudes are like okay we got it we got to go back like why, why? <laughs> and, and so they go back the giants are gone the car is still there but it had been raining footprint footprints did they take pictures i don't know probably uh wow. but uh but there there's like reported that there these were like these massive foot probably like i think around like two feet long two american feet long uh yeah like that that's big those are like massive footprints and there are tons of stories like it's just super common in like the solomon islands like yeah giants live in the mountains giants live in Dude. the caves there's other some there's some other like extra gnarly ones that we won't get into cannibalism right uh, we'll, let's get into it into the half episode. I want to yeah, talk more I, about giants. Gotta, they say they're giant thirteen feet too. tall, huh? They said they were thirteen yeah. feet tall. That's yeah, like, that's yeah. wild. Man. It, but like, you know, we we've read the Bible. Mm-hmm. You should, Lily. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, we know giants. Like they they're common in the Bible. Like, we got classic Goliath. Everyone knows that guy. But there's all, all over brothers. the Bible. 
yeah. And mm-hmm. there's so many more. Uh, you can jump into the good old Nephilim and all that Yeah, stuff. and the, the Raphaim, is that mm-hmm. what they're called? Yeah, the, yeah, that's a version of them. I think those might be the animal ones. Oh, is it? I not even, that's, not even in the Bible, too. Like, in every culture. Yeah, yeah. every culture ta- has a giant story. Yeah. 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 That's just crazy that the red hair, <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's like a common theme that we're coming across. Mm-hmm. Like, the Native Americans talk about mm-hmm. the red hair giants and, like... Uh, in Afghanistan, yeah. the soldiers that came across a red hair giant. Mm-hmm. Let's talk theories. I sure. want to. I'm holding back so bad because of. I want to save it for the half episode. Okay, but I have stories as well. Mm. We'll save those stories. But I want to. Let's let's theorize. Pangea, okay, <laughs> or underground cave system. Both. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, or really good swimmers. <laughs> Or boat builders. They can tread they can tread water. Or intelligent beings that can build boats. (laughs) Or their daddies are aliens and they drop them off everywhere. Mm. Yeah, like Mm. take me to the Solomon Islands, Dad. Dad. I'll pick you up after school. Dad, can you take me to the islands? (laughs) Is that what they tell Spring break. (laughs) Yeah. But then dad didn't pick them up. (laughs) 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 But they're always in caves. They're always like hiding in caves. Yeah. Did you see that that door in Colorado? It's like it's been everywhere yeah. on my TikTok. Yeah, I've saw that. This dude was hiking, and there's like this little this mountain with this like rock face, and he didn't like his phone was in his pocket, and he saw this giant go and this rock face just close, and mm. it, it's literally shaped like a door. Let's make another connection. The national park disappearances. Yes, four one one. Four one one. Giants. Are responsible. Do you think Hollow Earth is real? Um, did you hear that the swallow? That was intense. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, no, you really <laughs> got me there. <laughs> uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. Uh, dude. Oh, so before, like, people were—I don't know—people are probably always psyched on conspiracy stuff. But a really long time ago, I like watched some like. Ran, I was like deep, deep in the YouTube hole and like watched stuff on it. And then I was like, that's weird. And then King Kong it came out, like the newer one. Yeah. And, th- and then like they they were talking all about Hollow Earth. And I was like, what? Hollow Earth? Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I think I, I, w- I definitely wouldn't say the entirety of the Earth is hollow. Like it's some weird little like egg shell or something. Yeah. Um, but, but there's pockets. I'd say there's probably pockets. I think so too. Possibly some deep underground military base stuff. Who knows? There's one know? guy that theorized, I saw this video, he theorized that. Uh, in the Bible, when it talks about Sheol, Sheol, yeah, yeah. and like Abraham's bosom, that mm-hmm. is in fact within the earth. Oh my goodness! And that, yeah, because I wonder. Wait a second. Well, I guess this depends on if you believe, like, in the ascension at the second coming, or if you're with mm-hmm. Christ, like immediately. Mm-hmm. It talks about how he'll take us from the earth. Yeah, we'll go up. So we stay in the earth. Yeah, Sheol. But then it talks about in like Revelation and in the Book of Enoch of how those fallen angels were imprisoned within the earth. Scary. So what does that mean? Is that a symbolic? Is that a metaphorical? Or is it literal? Right. I think it's literal. Like, yeah, that's, that's there's like so the conversations. Scary. Just if someone could bring like a drop of water for my tongue, the rich man and yeah, um, yeah, and like so like this guy he, he literally yeah. drew yeah. it. He's like, imagine there's this. It's like literally a tunnel that goes straight down. And there's like a pocket over here, which would be Abraham's bosom. That's like a paradise. Like it's very nice there. It's like yeah. waiting for Jesus' return. And right on the other side of this tunnel is on the other side Sheol. of the tracks. Mm-hmm. And that's where it talks about that. Um, what, yeah, go what tell my saying. family and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 And he's like, you can't. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Scary. Yeah. Um, so one is Eden reaccessed? No, not yet. Yeah. Some people believe that Eden is. The new because, earth, well, right? Well, he went into his like dimensional theory, and then there's you know the archangel guarding the entrance. I, mm. I'd say that that it's not Eden because Jesus went down to Sheol. Mm. So that was something I never like. I just didn't know a lot about for a long time. Yeah, and, and I'd heard of like the Apostles' Creed. That's which, also se- it's so yeah. random. Yeah, in Second Peter, right? Where it talks about it. Yeah, where it's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Jesus went down, down. Oh, yeah, it, to to witness to those yeah. that were down there. Yeah, and but it's like, that's wild. So yeah, the, for the people that died before 
or during the time of Noah, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. they yeah. got a second chance. Well, it's for all people that had died before Jesus. Oh, okay. Uh, so oh, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, because like, for a long time I was very confused. Just recently I've been kind of learning about it where it's like... The propitiation. Yeah, you got Sheol, this place, this place of the dead. Um, some people call it hell. Uh, Easy. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you got the place of the dead, and where do people go when they die before Jesus made a way? Um, they, humans. Humans went there. Possibly some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> um, but you, like you were saying, you got the good side, you got the bad side. But shield was made for the humans. Mm. It, like I, That's why I say it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was made for the humans. And so and not saying that uh, I'm not saying God can't do things, but God, I believe uh, he has his own rules. He's right. like, this is the rules. And so the rules was like, all right, that's the place of the human dead. So Jesus comes as a human, mm. you know, he comes as a man, lives a perfect life and dies. Why did like, you know, even like, why does he need to die? Like, yeah, there's a, a lot of questions within that, but obviously there's, you have like, he is the sacrifice. He yes. is the sacrificial lamb that saved us. Like he took the, the penalty for us so we didn't have to. But in addition, because he's not a time waster, he, you know, he doesn't waste things. He just uses everything that he needs to. So dies as a man, goes down to Sheol mm. and then takes the keys takes the people that are the righteous ones, the saints, walks them out of Sheol. The unrighteous, they're still there. They're still chilling. They don't, they don't have a place to go. And so Jesus takes them out and then, hey, let's go to heaven. And so now... That's wild. Now it's like, now that Jesus has come, that's why even where you hear um, uh, the, the guy on the cross mm-hmm. where uh, he's like, I'll see you in paradise. Mm. Another word for, for that paradise is like Abraham's bosom, that good side of shield. She was like, I'll see you there, dog. And Interesting. goes down, hey, come out with me. Let's go up to heaven. And so that's why I'd say that Eden isn't, isn't in shield because Jesus took him out of there. Eden is where the father is. Eden, Eden is like, you kind of like that place that, that uh, I, uh, I don't know. It, yeah. I, there's a yeah. lot going on up in heaven. I've not been there, and so I don't know all of it, you know? Uh, but there's just yeah. stuff I've been dwelling on, thinking on. Um, We're going to take Stevia in a second. Oh. Yeah. Take a trip. <laughs> yeah, that should be a bad call. <laughs> but, yeah, little thoughts on that's that. That's wild. No, that's so cool. I think it would probably freak us out fully if yeah. we knew exactly how for it all sure. worked. Yeah. You know? That all was, of it did. That was such a special moment for me in my faith walk, making that discovery that because, like, as a kid, when you hear these Bible stories, like, especially at the school we went to, like, a very elementary understanding of the Bible and what has transpired. And to hear that, I always had imagined that when Jesus, those three days, was just like, you know. and But he was so busy, you know. He and got like, stuff to do. He, he, yeah. he used his time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was really cool to see that. And you, you always wonder, too, like... What did happen to the people before Jesus? You know, yeah, they, they didn't and, know. And, and like you even see like accounts of like uh, I'm gonna get names wrong. Uh, was it Daniel? Nope. Uh, it's the, maybe it's the book of Daniel. Uh, but it's the Saul goes and he goes to a freaking witch. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. in a second Samuel. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's what the, the, First Samuel. Right. Yeah. Second Samuel. Yeah. Um, Samuel and Daniel. But uh, but yeah. So but like he he called. The witch calls the dude up. Yeah. And he's <laughs> and like, why did you, why'd you bring what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. yeah, because he's not with the father yet. Yeah. He was he was in Abraham's bosom. He was in the good place. He's chilling, sleeping maybe. Maybe it's nighttime there. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or taking a nap. And he's like, yo, why'd you wake me? Yeah. And then she's like, oh, shoot. Yeah. Why did you call me to call this guy? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. she knows who the guy is. Don't you she- love that God still used yeah. That medium, yeah. even like he's like, you shouldn't be talking to this person anyway. But I'm going to use this evil for good. Like, yeah. I, I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that's such so a cool. gangster move. Yeah, Gang- old gangster. I want to talk more yeah. about giants mm-hmm. on the half Patreon episode. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Anyone go to there you now. Over five and eight is a giant, huh? Anyone over five eight is a giant to you? <laughs> to me? Yeah, to you. <laughs> so you were not. I'm six foot. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but how many fingers? You're five seven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon.com forward slash ninjas of butterflies. Hey, thanks, Corey, for coming on. We're going to talk way more about more stuff in a minute. There you go. And yes. then we're going to get tattoos. Tattoos. Um, guys, make sure to uh, 
like this podcast, review us on everything, please. Uh, uh, share uh, it with a friend. Share it with a friend. And share. We're it with so it. close to a million subscribers. Go tell 20 people right now to subscribe, even if they don't watch our stuff. Yeah. Take their phone. Do it for them. Because yeah. if we had a million subscribers... Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year, uh, when the clock strikes midnight mm-hmm. on December 31st... If we're at a million. If we're at a million... Eastern Standard Time. Andy will get a lower back tattoo. Very sick. Of his mom's face. Well... Oh. Yes. Yikes. <laughs> yes. Just the whole, no, the whole back like steve <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah. It's, it's going to be great. Times. It's going to be great. I don't yeah. think we're going to do it, but we might. Hey, Who we knows? might. Hey, we might. I don't know. Also, we'll go to SundayCoolSwag.com. Please. And buy the shirt that Corey drew. Yep. Corn dog. Cornelius. Mm-hmm. Cornelius the corn dog. Because uh, if you order now, you're probably going to get them in time for Christmas. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. perfect yeah. gift. Yeah. And okay. If you're, and if you're a Patreon member, you get discounts. So maybe that's a little more incentive hey. to get on Whoa. Patreon. And you get early access to merch. Hey, hey, she. hey. And you can talk like this whenever you want when you're a Patreon. Hey, oh, hey she. But you can't do it if you're not. You <laughs> and if we find out you are, I swear I'm going to lose it. Okay. We love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you, Corey. Thanks for coming. Ninjas or bullets. <laughs> <laughs> The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck it, Jonathan. We also didn't do the poop. Oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> Why do we do that? Well, let's put. We need. We need to have a sign right there. New guest, poop story. Yeah. We. I mean, you can do it. Obviously. We're, We're sorry. We won't do this again. We'll but just, we'll write it on the wall. Yeah. Right, right in poop. Yeah. <laughs> so we never forget. Yeah. But it has to be fresh. Yeah. Because well, that's the only way we're going to remember is the smell. <laughs>